Hello guys, um, sorry. Um, well, first off, I'm sorry for the lack of uploads lately. My bad, I've just been a bit busy. But we are going to keep to start doing constant uploads like we used to. Now, you probably all know why I'm in build mode right now. I mean, take a look at this. Do you notice anything different? I bet you do. Now, look at this. We've got, um, well, that was already there, I think. we got abilities here. we got player models, which isn't even in the real game. Then we have settings. And not only that, but take a look at this. I mean, look at this. This is a cutscene creator, guys. Nothing could be better in build mode than this. This might be the biggest... Actually, it probably is the biggest build mode update ever. <laughs> now, we'll work on the cutscenes later. We gotta build our map. Now, let's see. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks long. Right, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right now, just to make sure. One, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, hang on, so, okay, dang it, hang on, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hang on, one, one, two, three, four. Dad, come on! Oh, we're just gonna have to wait until the Wi Fi comes back up. There we go. Okay. Book two, cutscene creator. But yes, as you can see, it says book two, cutscene creator. Now, you guys may be thinking, there's no way that they're doing a cutscene creator. Well, the last book did it, so Piggy's going to do it now. Oh, and not, um, where am I? Okay. Either way. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything. MPC, take a look at this. Now, um, so the parent... Wait, the additions are Giraffe, I think. Giraffe and Mimi are definitely new. Mr. P's not new. All the TSP members are new. Um. I thought there was one more. Oh, well. Take a look at this. This is lights. This is a light box. Um, events. Now, we've got these super cool new doors. I've never thought I'd be this excited for a door before. Oh, and then we, we've got vents. So, you know what? I actually have been longing to test this out. Um, now. Color block, no. Nope, that's a conveyor belt. Okay, then. Oh, I forgot they added notes, so watch this. Watch this. Text. And, okay, so this is extremely cool. I forgot that they added in this. So like, okay, fire block, that hurts. Okay, well, um. I wonder when they're going to add that weird thing. Can't be much. 
But either way, let's show you all these doors, yada, yada, yada. You all know about these doors. I mean, look. Look, a door. Now. Nothing. No, I want to open this door. Let me open the door. Way sad. All right, well, let's find the text. But either way, let's get to work with this map, okay? Um, delete. We need to start getting to work on this map. And I'll show the cutscene creator. Now. Where should we start? Well, let's do it where we're s trapped in a small room. Trapped in a small room. That sounds good. Oh, yay. I'm so happy I get to be trapped in a small room. Yay. Okay. to events and let's just start with no not a white key door um that's a green door yes most maps start off with green doors right You know what? Let's just stop with the whole tiny room thing. I have zero experience building a map, so don't make fun of me, okay? This is probably my first, this is pretty much my first time. So, um, let's see, we would start with, oh right, piggy and player spawn. All right. No, uh, we should make the player spawn right here, and then Piggy. No, not trap spawn. Piggy spawn right there, and then you will come to play, Sunny Ball Pig. Okay, now going to recent. Do block. Okay, how long is this? One, one, two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, don't know why that happened. Build tool.
All right. Now, texture, texture, texture. Um, let's see. Let's make this all CN. And I wish I had a computer. It would make it so much easier because they added another thing in the build mode. I think resize. Gosh, I would have made this so more simple. And then I will be showing off the cutscene creator later. I promise you that. Um. Yeah, so, um, okay, you know what, I got an idea. Now, let's see. Oh, crud. Well, um, let's see. Okay, that looks weird. We need to get rid of this block. Yay. I don't get why the game's so laggy, though. Oh, by the way, while I'm at it, let's save this two slot one. My first map. Save. Now, let's see. Now we have to load my first map. Let's confirm. Please, please. 
<gasps> yes, yes. Just to make sure, let's save this to my first map, and then, um, just to make sure we will load it, um, my first map, now, yep, everything looks the exact same, so, let's look this up real quick. Two. Okay, so let's watch the creek craft. <laughs> oh great, I just lost my money for this video, even though I'm not gonna make any money anyway. So, um, yeah. Beyond that, we do have the revamp UI, and let's go ahead and break everything down. So right here, your first option is going to be everything you can add to the game. You have your basic blocks, your decorations, your events, your items, your lights, your NPCs, and we'll get more into those here in a second. Now, the second option I've kind of already went over, and then, of course, the third option is the textures and the colors. It should be pretty self-explanatory. Now, this option right here this allows you to save your map, load your map, or play your map. Maybe you want to load in and play your map for everybody on it. And then this button right here, this is a very nice button this is the settings for your map now up here at the top oh that's where you change the bot skin off. i'm gonna keep it off and then right here you can actually change the skin of the bot so this is the bot that's going to be on the map and you can change which one it is and there is a lot of options in here i'm just gonna go with um let's go with alfie's let's go with alfie's right there and then, of course going the back into it we have privacy alfie's. pretty self-explanatory you can make the game public so anyone can join in or not you can make it discoverable so it pops up on the discover list um double jump the no clip this has already been in the game but i'll show it off again since it's been so long since a build mode update you can change the time of day here you can kick players out of the game you can add people to be able to build alongside you like team building teleport, I spawn, want to see pretty the basic presents. stuff and then this little three line button you have four options this first option allows you to choose what skin you're going to spawn as as piggy so if you are the piggy you can choose which skin you're going to spawn as so for example i could be budgie and now i'll spawn as budgie the second option here is your abilities it allows you um, change and equip abilities oh, no, because abilities already. are now official. Yada, yada, yada. Items. You're essentially the exact same as the player. You can do abilities over here on the side. The only difference is now you're playing as Drafty, and that works with any of the characters. So really awesome job. Now, real quick, for the people that don't know what you have to do to actually start a game, you actually have to have two items. You have to have a player spawn, which you get by going to one, and then you go to events, Gosh, and then it's no, right up here at the top. No, you have your idea. player spawn. You, that's where all the players are going to be. The green, uh, the green box here. And what this is is a patrol path. So if I put these down, the piggy is going to patrol back and forth between these all so right the those next things. option this one right here that looks like a trap this is actually the piggy trap and what what's going to happen is anytime the piggy walks over this this box um the piggy is going to put down a trap just like that the bots is. in so single player mode so i can put all this make right sense. there so and if good. i go to play and go to bot and then we wait for the the alfie's bot to spawn because that's it's what not all right so i spawned Elvis. in and now as you can tell the bot isn't actually coming directly for me like it normally does it's actually going to go along the path that we put down and you're going to see it's going to put down a trap as soon as it crosses one of the boxes there it is right there it put down a trap and now it's going to slowly patrol back that way and then back this way it should put down another 
another trap here somewhere. There we go. I just put down another one right there, and it's just going to keep going along that path unless it detects me. So if I get close to it here, it will aggro onto me, and... There we go. Now it's going to start chasing me. That's pretty if cool. If I get too far away. Wow. Right, and they work just like they do in regular Piggy. You can put them down, and they don't actually chase after you unless you walk right in front of them. And they got all six of them here, so we can put all of them down here just for funsies like this. And then if I go ahead and play the game, you can see they're not actually going to aggro onto me. But if I stand in front of them... There they go. Just like in normal Piggy. That's how they work. I can go in front of him. There he goes, just like in uh, in a regular story mode right there. It's exactly the same. Now, along with all the NPCs, they've also added in a bunch of new items. You, you, you've got a bunch of new items here. Like, for example, we've got the, the little tool. But if I go ahead and close into the game, you can go through and play around with them if you want to. I do want to mention, though, that safes have been added into the game. Now, the nice thing about safes is no matter which one you choose, whether you get the white key one or maybe the yellow key one, you can actually click this little button on top and you can actually choose the item that spawns inside it. So, for example, we could have a fire extinguisher spawn in and Inside the safe. So okay, whenever they open cool. the safe, there'll be a fire extinguisher in there. Now, along with that, we also have vents. Vents are added into the game. Of course, they're pink now because I have pink selected. I can change it back to white if I want to right down there. But this vent requires a hammer to open up. Or maybe you could have this vent right here. This is also another option that players can open up and crawl through. Or maybe you just want some cool doors on your map, like the doors from the ship map. You can do and everything in here. You want to go through. Hudson's. Oh, great. More money, though. If you lost, even though I was making money anyway. And, um, basically, whenever something goes onto it, it just, you know, it, it conveys it. Conveys it. You run on it, it's a little bit hard, but it just, it constantly pushes you down there. Kind of a cool mechanic. Maybe you'd have, like, uh, all the players on a conveyor belt and do a cool map that way, but I thought I'd mention it. Now, before we get into the cutscene, create change the color of the light. So, for example, if I want to make a red light, I can make all of these down here and just be zero and make this be zero. Enter. And then, of course, you can change the brightness of the light. I think the max is two. You can change the range of it, so how far uh, it lights up. So we can do 50, 50 blocks if we want to confirm. Okay. And look at that. Now, everything has a slightly red glow to it just like that now works with any color you can do it with any color you just look up the rgb code on the internet just be like hey maybe i want blue what's the blue rgb code look it up you can type it in here and then boom there you go you have yourself a blue light or red one now along with light blocks we also have sound blocks where are they at here they are right here under events now these work pretty much the same way you click on them and you can make them play a sound so you can input a sound id right here if you don't know how to get a sound id you just go to create brave maybe nope, click nope, it's gonna nope, paste nope. that extensive if I want to, I can change the pitch, I can make it loop, confirm, and now if I load into the game here, we should hear that audio. So let me load in, and there it is right there. That's the crab rave, and there's that red light, and the nice thing about notes is, well, you can also change the color and the texture of the notes. So I can literally have a grass note down there, or maybe I could have a, um, let's go with a brick note. Let's go with a pink brick note right there look at that or maybe i want just a regular white note that is just uh looking kind of like a oh, that doesn't 